I guess uh, liver resection is the standard of care in the treatment of colorectal liver metastasis. And uh, with this uh, in mind, we, we know that we can, may achieve uh, significant results. Our results at five years are between 25 to 40% survival. And this is something we should have in mind. Having this in mind, there are uh, different scenarios. We may treat uh, metastasis either in the so-called uh, traditional approach, that is the resection of the, of the primary first, uh, simultaneous, that is by performing both procedures at the same time, and what is now in fashion, what is called the reverse mode, which is first the liver and afterwards the treatment of the primary. Yeah, but in the upfront of all this is uh, the use of chemotherapy if we want to increase uh, the uh, survival or the results after liver section. There are three reasons to the use of chemotherapy before, or uh, you want to call it the adjuvant chemotherapy, uh, that's supposed to be, uh, we should be using it. The first is treatment of micro-megatastatic disease prior to exposing patients to regional growth factors that are upregulated following liver section, downsize the tumors, in those which are initially unresectable or they are in with a significant tumor burden. And finally, identify those patients with aggressive tumor biology that probably are not likely to benefit from surgical resection. Well, from the first point of view, those that are initially resectable, we can see that even the use of chemotherapy on the adjuvant chemotherapy in this slide shows you that there is no survival advantage. And the, as, as, as it is obvious. On the other side, when we used, we used chemotherapy in order to increase the number of patients that go into surgical therapy or decrease the magnitude of the hepatic resection, we can see that these numbers, it may be increased by using this type of chemotherapy. It may go from 11% uh, up to 30% of those patients that are not initially resectable would be able to be treated by surgery. And this may increase in the future by the use of new drugs. This is a recent paper published by a Chinese where it shows that the use of seducimab in the treatment in the, in the, as a neoadjuvant therapy shows that the surgeons increase the number of R0 resections when compared to a, a, a usual one. And finally, are we able to identify those patients with aggressive tumor in which resection wouldn't be necessary? Well, I guess we, we, we would say no. As a matter of fact, in this recent paper published recently in Lancet by Norlinger, it shows that while in treatment, with more than 360 patients, while in treatment, no, uh, only 7% of the patients.